Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to take a look at Aperture Desk Job, the uh, new mini game, I guess we can call it, that's just dropped in Valve, which isn't directly um, linked to Portal 2, but it is set in the Portal 2 universe. So I thought, you know what, let's take a look at it. Um, it coincides with the release of the Steam Deck and um, you uh, actually require a controller to play it. So um, yeah, let's uh, jump in and take a look to see what we're going to do um, at our desk here in Aperture Science. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. I'm exceptional. I am exceptional. You heard it. You heard it there first. You heard Look it there at all first. all those tubes stretching off in the distance. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world. There's a lot of cause. A genius just like you. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us, I mean all of uh, us. That's a lot of missiles. <laughs> so congratulations. Oh, wow. Look at that giant chicken in the background. What's all that about? Holy crap. Okay. There's some uh, interesting stuff going on. I've got some you are mantises there as well. God kind, of, gave you these kind of loosely ties into the, uh, the quotes and things, I guess, we hear. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein. Wait a minute. That's, now you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck. World's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work or you're fired. They, they don't get out <laughs> overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, uh, you are a uh, b -b -b product inspector. Hey, that is your inspector. Product desk. inspector. In you, you will be inspecting. Uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt. Whatever it is, make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, just remember the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't, it's, it's real bad here. <sighs> it's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. You'll probably be fine. All right, what are we testing then? We are testing toilets. And I guess we just got to follow the, uh, the testing cycle here. Hey, we passed. So, is this our life then? We're just going to continue to test toilets. Fill, sit, flush. Test those water jets, of course. Gummit. I knew it. I, I oh. left the volume down. Yeah, zip zap zap. That is how you inspect a toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm oh. not saying any of that twice. Look, it's okay. not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait. Hold on. Have they all been smoking? Uh. You know it's not our job to test. Toilets don't normally fire, smoke, right? do they? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. <laughs> I, lo I love the. I love that. You think your job's bad? Somebody else's I mean, problem. Your job. Do you hear that? Hold on. I'll, let me take a look. Oh, I think it's the jets that are broken. Yeah. Keep testing it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can you get me out of here, please. <sighs> Nope, I'm just wet now. No, 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 no. It's working. Keep pressing the button. Huh? Okay. All oh, right. Uh, uh. Just test it. Get sure. It out of here. <laughs> I 
Um, so, first off, I I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Now, I also <laughs> think we're going to be rich because I think he just admitted something. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Like it's got to sure. look good. I mean, just pretend the most you've ever you know what just go back to work actually yeah that works i'll be back okay so i guess we're just gonna carry on testing then oh all right six months later and we're still testing toilets. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, I'm we back. We have tested 278,100 uh, toilets. Jeez. Jeez. The best. All right. Are you ready for this? Presenting. Presenting the, <laughs> the turret <Tetris> toilet. <laughs> Science turret. Go on. Take it for a spin. The controls are right there on your desk. Yeah. Okay. I haven't even shown you the best part. Here's the best part. Oh. Ah, you gotta have the wings open. <laughs> or it just shoots all its insides out, you know? I should have made that more clear. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Left trigger to open the wings. Right stick to aim. And right trigger to shoot. Shooting! You know what, though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that, so let me just turn it around. All right, shoot again. Don't worry, it's safe. I mean, this time. Uh, this are time you sure? Safe. Last time it wasn't. You almost died. I actually wanted to try and shoot you, but you didn't give me a second opportunity. Wow! Holy moly, man! That is great! Oh, man, the turret broke. That was the only one, too. But don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Introducing the Mark II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. Okay, good. Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. Okay, normally Jeez, I walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just do of... everything at once and see what happens. <laughs> uh, okay, go crazy. All those controls do something. All those controls do wow, something. Right? Oh, this is great. This thing should be <laughs> so good. Okay, apart from all, keep going. Though. Uh... Oh, I'm not right, sure so I want to be shooting behind, but <laughs> I love the way it just spins round and round. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, quite a bit is falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. Okay, I think we're out of we're I've we're out of ammo. I'm 99% convinced of that now. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like ah. Uh, this almost reminds me of like what something yep. you do in the lab on the VR game, where you're just sort of like destroying parts of like aperture. Um. Yikes. didn't work most of it like 90 percent or even higher maybe but some of it worked great so all we have to do is keep the great stuff and then we then we can so okay that's the police so one of us needs to streamline this turret right and one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse because they're this is a lot of damage, and they're going to look into this. 
I can't possibly which figure job, which way around that's going. Do you want? How about I fix a turret and then you take? Yeah, I'll do that part. Remember, <laughs> if anyone asks, you don't know me. Okay? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Oh wow, the the, the mantis look. I get like a proper civilization going there. Jeez. Oh well, we've still got a testing desk in the in prison, so that's something, right? Hey, well, I mean, wow, you are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I mean, eighteen months later, jeez. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were wow. Were they mad? Anyway, I promise you are not going to regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Please sign for your possessions. Inmates' possessions are as follows. Desk, one. <laughs> Inmate must state their name, print their name. That could have been like, sign. that is all. That would have been uh, good. Knock. Moving on. Now, type your name. Knock. Moving on. Now, sign your name. Uh. Mm. Ah. Oh, Ker. Ker. Smiley face. As a condition of supervised early release, parolee and desk agree to report within 15 days. Hey, don't listen to her. Don't you we need, need to know that information? No. Officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now. But they're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little. But anyway, that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to mend. You are both free to go. Thanks. Uh, uh, bring your desk. <laughs> I still find it great that like we, we brought the desk into the prison. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Here, tried on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in a locked room. All right, let's. Uh... Just like the mark. I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like Excuse me, what now? A dragon holding a knife. It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo. Oh, wait, there was something on the. Uh... We should both have it because then we'd be tattoo bros. Anyone uh. No, we are friends. There was something like on this TV screen. It looked. I thought it looked a bit like um, Atlas and Peabody, but no. All right. It was the. Um... It was a sign from like, like the first bit. Coming out of the side of my head, and it's holding a wrench. So you got the dragon and the knife. I assume we just got like unlimited ammo here. And we can just um Man, yeah, okay. that'd be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim. And keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. And you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try it. Oh, wow. It's real easy. Just okay. pick up the desk, tilt it around the end. How much did the tattoo hurt? You gave it to yourself. Did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with the lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds... All right, I'm not very good at shooting moving targets in the air, clearly. Another 
Oh, there we go. We got one. Skeleton arm tattoo. All right, everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last. But while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's going to make us rich forever. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm not sure it'll uh, pan out like that, if I'm completely honest, but we'll see. We'll see. Wow, these are... Uh... Look at the mantis now. They really are an advanced society, aren't they? You know what? I thought for a minute there that our, to our toilet was on fire, but no, it's just... Um... What are you gonna do with your shares? Some of money? stuff happening before. In the background. I know what I'm gonna do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. <laughs> like immediately pay it off. Or I'll I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the VIG. I'll have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it that's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Huh. That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, jeez, it's got a gun. It's an ambush. Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> I knew it! It's the housewares department. How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it. They stole our idea, and now they're going to kill us with it. Housewares, man. They're never going to stop this mission. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're going to stop coming, though. We need to think of something else. Who's shooting at me? Who's gonna shoot? I guess it's just like all the fridges and the uh, the cookers and stuff. They're the ones we've got to be careful of. I really think they're gonna keep coming for like just like a random out. stag's head. Let me get you uh -oh. a turret. I didn't bring a ton of those now. That might be my last one. Maybe two more. I'm assuming it's kinda of like um it's going to be scripted because I don't really see how I can house not weird, get hit man. by some of these guys. I almost think though that clearly the uh, the turret in the toilet wasn't the first right, idea. Here's another one. No big deal. Oh, there is some kind of switch back there. I got the elevator working again, but we have another 80 <laughs> floors before we get to cave. We're not going to survive. Only 80 floors, you know. <laughs> Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit rockets on there the standard for safety reasons. All right. Rocket us up through all 80 levels real fast, and then up through the floor of Cave's office. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so I don't know what it's we need to do. It's also just now occurring to me that there's no... I don't know what we're going to have to do here because um, obviously the, the Steam, Deck, Steam Deck has um, buttons on the back. We don't have anything past L3, so we don't have a 4 and 5, so I don't know why, how these controls work. Roof on this elevator, it's more of a platform. Oh. But... Here we go. Alright, we just sort of hold them all together, I guess. 
panel set to flight configuration. Oh boy. I think we made it to Cave's office. Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay. Let's go show this. What's with the mantis with the human head there? Look. Also, I do have one quick. Do you reckon that's Greg? I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. But it turns out, I didn't know this. It turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. I you guess know, it's going to be uh, Glados behind the door. I think he might be a millionaire recluse now. So be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. Hello, Mr. Johnson? Uh... Let's just go in. Cave Johnson, big head Mr. confirmed. Johnson, are you here? I'm assuming that's just a statue, right? Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm going to level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those... Hey, hey, hey! I can't talk over the sound of you shooting me. Do you want me to tell you why I'm a giant head or not? Right. Sorry, Cave, sorry. Giant head, riddled with disease, eggheads. Ah, now I remember. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body, and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head somewhere, all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and, uh, I don't know, I panicked. Killed a few of them. Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. <laughs> Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now, don't worry about me. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show them, partner. Well, I'm waiting. Whoa! That'll work. I'll be honest, I thought you were too blue to take some dragon toy with you. You are geniuses. All those geniuses. The whole gyro is off right now. What? You are made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Are we gonna have like bullets ricocheting here? Is it working? I'm in the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it's working, but you're the egghead. I don't think it's working. <laughs> hey, you see that? It's I think just that's his power <laughs> source. Just unplug the power. Up oh, here we go. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three, two. Ah. Uh.
Backup what, what power a... activated. <laughs> <laughs> You're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see them. Uh-oh. It's in my cave. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not going to like this. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. We should... Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything. And bring the desk. Always got to bring the desk. <laughs> I think we destroyed the Mantis civilization. They're like, no! <laughs> oh, jeez. Months later, Morning, back to where Charlie. it all started. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. <laughs> I just noticed his tattoo on his face. <laughs> You know, come to think of it, you think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Charlie. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there's cave and all the toilets. The Mantis power core. Is he on Mantis power now? We're gonna have like a toilet turret opera. I think we are, aren't we? was fun i know it was only short and i I'd, I'd seen that it was only a, a short installment but um <laughs> that was really good i could play like games like that like over and over again just for the humor you know it's got those like real humorous elements to it which are just you know fantastic and um i'll say no not a direct link to like the whole portal 2 story of course but um the whole fact that you know it's it's part of in the universe and we can see those references and everything is just absolutely fantastic so um yeah made specifically for the release of the steam deck of course um if you're getting yourself a steam deck do let us know in the comments uh, and if you do are you enjoying it i've heard um mixed things about it so it'd be interesting to see what um actually actual people um consider about the uh, final thing now that it's released. But yeah. <laughs> it's not a cake. It's a... Is that like a jelly? Oh my goodness. The cake really is a lie, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this as much as uh, I enjoyed playing it. It really was a blast. And uh, like I say, really appreciated um, all the humor that they threw into this um, with all the references and bits and pieces. And uh, yeah, it was a, a, a real blast um, 
spend uh, a nice bit of time doing that. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys.